one of the bits that the Tri Council project has changed in the is actually service standards across even three councils in the West Midlands are actually very different. And I've you know, been impressed by some of the work that Staffordshire, for instance, has done on that on social care. Um, if you look at accounting systems, I would say that it's actually Shropshire in front of us. So I think there's a great deal of joint learning. And if we can just bring all the levels, all the standards up to the same level, to the best of each council, then this project really will be worthwhile. I mean, there's also, of course, a bit of a hope that by rationalising back office systems and management, you know, we're going to save some money and help us, you know, maintaining those frontline services that we really want to do. I suspect that there is a possibility of some job losses, but normally the next question I get is how many, and that's impossible to quantify because we're at such an early stage. But I'd also say that there is more potential, I think, of actually maintaining um, employment levels. It's very interesting because we've done a lot of face-to-face -face roadshows with people in Worcestershire and the people of Worcestershire are extremely agnostic as to who delivers the service. It really isn't important to them providing they get the service. And so I'm very calm that although the service delivery behind the front line might be different, the service delivery on the front line will be pretty seamless and people won't notice any difference at all. But the management it could be radically different. And the key thing I'm afraid to say is to always remember in partnerships is game theory. Everybody's got to win. Now there are ways of doing that, whether it's financially or in, or in terms of service improvement, but you have to take everybody with you. So the idea that it's going to be a dramatic process I think is wrong. I think it's going to be an interesting involvement over time.